Verily, Salah prevents immorality and evil. Sadaqallah al-Azim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Jazakallah khaira to uh, Ustad Farid and Youth Matters for asking me to do this series. First of all, we have to know that pornography is an addiction and before pornography, we should know what an addiction is. So addiction is a psychological and a physical inability to stop consuming a chemical drug activity or a substance even though it is causing you harm. Addiction is such a thing that you are not able to leave it, whether you want to leave it or not. Now, with the definition of addiction, if you fit the pornography definition, which is basically that any written content, any content that you are listening to, which is audio or visual, which is prevalent, which is explicit, which is inappropriate to watch, to listen or to read, it is considered Pornography. Mechanisms are different, but in this way, the painkillers in our body are also the same. That at a certain time, we don't have a specific painkiller, so we take a higher dose or a, or a uh, painkiller which is much more effective. Similarly, pornography is also the case. People tend to watch more and more and novel and novel and new stuff to get the same kind of pleasure which is extremely destructive for their mental and physical health along with other societal harms. Pehle zamano mein to accessible nahi tha because of the internet ke tab internet nahi tha. Now everyone can turn on their internet, watch whatever they want and it is openly accessible and it is very problematic. Secondly, now it is affordable, no one has to pay any price or subscriptions. Some extreme people might take subscriptions but it is not generally needed for certain websites of uh, such type. A person is anonymous. In the past people used to go and buy certain magazines or certain uh, video cassettes to watch uh, pornography but now people can just turn on the internet, close their room and watch whatever they want but we have to know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching us. It can also develop aggressiveness and I will quote Marco Iacoboni, a professor of psychiatry of University of California, Los Angeles, who speculates that the systems that are activated uh, during uh, watching, when one is watching pornography, have this potential to spread violent behavior. And he says the mirror mechanism in the brain also suggests that we are automatically influenced by what we perceive. Thus, proposing a plausible, a possible neurobiological mechanism, a mechanism which is neurobiological, hai, for contagion of violent behavior, a spread of something harmful, a contagion jo hai, of violent behavior. The violent behavior or its spread is possible and is possible. There have been certain studies in this case. This was all for the first episode. Inshallah, hope it will benefit you. Jazakumullahu khayra.